you can't tell, I am currently packing because I'm moving out of my apartment so soon. So this is the, probably the last one you'll see in this apartment. But I don't have any more tables to <laughs> rest my uh, filming stuff on. And most of my lamps are packed up. So we're working with a limited setup here, people. I'm realizing I'm covering my address, but it's not gonna matter by the time this one comes out, so haha! -ha. I have been so busy packing up uh, my apartment for the move that I have not really had time for anything fun. So let's crack this sucker open. Oh, hello. Hi, Chelsea. Happy Fix Day. Thanks so much for including a link to the feedback video you created. So much fun to watch. I included a few more summery pieces for you. Yes! And one that can be worn in any season. The just black skinny jeans are going to be versatile and flattering piece that can be worn year round. Pair them with the Nepean Sea Road blouse and your favorite heels for a flirty date, date night look. The Bay to Bobbles bracelet will complete the look. The jeans are also going to look fantastic with the Eden Society blouse for a night out with friends. I included them with the, I included the Pixley linen dress for you as it will be perfect for the warm August weather. Uh, layer on a denim jacket if you're looking to take it to fall. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback on everything. What can I get for you next time? Cheers, Callie. Ooh. So we've got this. Um, it's like a heavier studded bracelet and it's gold and silver. I am one of those people who is very opposed to matching gold and silver. Like if there's gold accents in my dress, I have to match gold jewelry. So matching gold and silver feels very unnatural right now. But they're kind of the same level of tarnish, so it doesn't look too clashy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. So this is, this is the linen dress she was talking about. Okay, well first of all, oh, this is the back. First of all, I love it because it has pockets. This automatically bumps the dress up a point in my book. It's got this really cute kind of vintage looking uh, scalloped neckline. I think that might be a sweetheart. And then uh, the great keyhole back with a little gold detail or brass detail buttons. I think it's gonna be really cute. <gasps> I love this color and I love this fabric. Ooh, I love it. So this is the NSR or the, I don't know what the name of this brand is, Road. Oh, it's got like the off the shoulder sleeves, but it's got spaghetti straps to hold it up. It's an interesting shape. I can't really tell what it's gonna look like until it's on Eden Society shirt. Uh, she probably knows my previous videos. I love this color. Uh, so the full front is like knitted almost. Like you can see the yarn and it's very thick in the pattern. Um, it's a little bit busy because it's kind of a lace. It's the yarn overlay lace overlay a plain top in like slightly different colors. It's blue. It's another one I'll have to wait and see until it's on to see what I think of it. And finally, the black skinny jeans because you can't go wrong with a pair of black skinnies. My favorite pair of black skinny jeans ever in my whole life were my um, DKNY Soho skinny jeans, which they discontinued, which was cruel and unusual. Um, one thing I'm that kind of makes me sad about Stitch Fix is I love so many of the pieces um, that they've sent me, obviously, because I keep them and I buy them. But there's nowhere for me to go to get more of those pieces. For instance, I love my bricks and ivy tops. I would buy them in every color if I could all at once. And the fact that I have to wait month to month to hopefully get one here and there is a little bit disappointing. And then I can't kind of look through their full catalog of everything they have to offer. And I know part of that is the appeal of Stitch Fix is that it's not just you having to scroll through page after page to find the things that you like. But when I do find the things that I like, I have to just kind of wait and hope that Stitch Fix will send me more. This month I was really sad because I had these great black faux leather legging pants that they sent me a couple of months ago which were like really nice that I could have black pants that weren't plain and they got thrown in the wrong load of wash and they're completely faded now and shrunk and I'm so sad and I don't know where to buy a replacement pair. Let's do styling and then price and then try it. So here is the linen dress that they talked about. They have it paired with either a denim jacket and some heels or just like with like a light scarf and some sandals, some espadrilles to very much take it day to night. I agree with that. So we have the Gracie Chevron bracelet. I mean, it's pretty much what you saw in front of me. You don't really style a bracelet, you just throw it on. Um, here are the skinny jeans. They have it paired with like, um, like a 
dressy top for going out. I actually have a top that looks a lot like this that I bought at a thrift store. Um, that I can really, or just like paired with flannel because they're black skinny jeans. They pretty much go with anything. This is the rope detail dress. So even they call it rope. Paired with like a nice blazer or like with a structured pencil skirt, both of which I own. And this is the Bennett cold sh shoulder uh, blouse, which they again have paired with like um, a funky printed pant um, in a dark color or a pencil skirt. Again, both of which I have. Okay, pricing. Before I fall in love with him, I'm gonna check the price. So, the rope detail blouse is $58. The Cordelia skinny jeans are $78. The cold shoulder blouse is $58. The linen dress is $68. And the bracelet is $28. The full price of this box without the discount would be $290. <sighs> But with the discount, it's $197. So, like $100 off if I keep all five. Again, this is one of those ones where unless I don't like three of the items, I'm probably gonna keep them off. But let's see, maybe the fit won't work. Um, I know with dresses in the past, I've had some issues with fit. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so I was kind of ambivalent about this one because I felt like the front looked busy. But honestly, because of the cut and the rest of it's really simple, um, it doesn't look too busy once you have it on. It's really comfy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be heavy at all because of the lace, I mean, it's totally see-through. Um, but it is like a very thick top. Hmm. This might be one of those great tops where you're like, I had a little too much pizza last night. Just distract and camouflage, distract and camouflage. I feel very 90s in this. I feel like I belong on an episode of Sex and the City, and I love it. This shirt is so weird, but it's so cool. I just feel very like, mm. like I should just be posing like this the whole time I'm wearing. I've been feeling very 90s lately, hence the choker. Um, I feel like this is totally the kind of outfit you would wear with a choker though. Um, and my like faded 90s denim, I really like this top. Like it's one of those ones that in the store I would stand in the mirror for like 10 minutes. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Do I like it? Do I not like it? I don't know what kind of magic factory they have at Stitch Fix for A, making jeans that don't feel like jeans, they feel like yoga pants, B, jeans that fit me all the way around from first try, and jeans that are long enough for my long ass legs. Ah! How do you keep doing this? I spent my entire life trying on jeans that don't fix me. And then you guys are like, oh, here's a box of jeans. Oh, every pair fits every time? Huh, how'd we do that? One day I will learn to just put on a strapless bra when my Stitch Fix boxes come. Wow, this dress is really cute. It feels way shorter than it looks. I think because it's so light, it feels like it stops about here. Um, but yeah, it almost hits my knees. This scalloped neck um, makes it a lot more modest than you think it would be. Um, the back kind of keeps it fun again with a different bra, I know. But this dress is so cute. No, this is a five key box again. Damn it, Stitch Fix, I'm supposed to be saving money for my new apartment. I wish I knew how to quit you. As you may have guessed, this is another five keep Stitch Fix box. God damn it. Why you keep doing this to me? I'm trying to be a good person and save money for my apartment. And you send me a box of really cute clothes. If I were to send anything back, it would probably be this bracelet. It's just kind of chunky and not really me. Um, she said wearing a plastic choker from Hot Topic. Um, <laughs> I don't know, just the mixing of gold and silver is outside of my aesthetic. And I kind of already have a bracelet that's like this chevron pattern um, in all silver. So it doesn't really fill out any holes in my wardrobe that I don't already have. Um, but other than that, very good. Thank you, Callie. Two for two on your five for five boxes. Um, and if anyone knows any answers about swapping out stuff or getting stuff that you'd liked again, let me know below. Because maybe I just don't know how to use Stitch Fix. And they're like, girl, you can order it anytime you want. What are you talking about? Apart from that, um, check out my podcast. Um, new episodes the first Saturday of every month. Uh, we have three episodes up so far. Um, we have more guests lined up. We have new ones already recorded, just waiting to be edited and posted. Um, the Stupid Sequels podcast, just check it out below. You can find me online at Callie Blair, at Twitter, uh, 
pretty much everywhere else. Um, and until then, see you next month. Bye.